Prismatic Lenses welcomes you to a place you can see magic happen. Utilizing Urza's blueprints, the pieces of the puzzle come together with a quality that is second to none. From our patented millstone polishing technique to our dignified use of stone horn, our lenses bend both light and mana. First exams are free. Prismatic lenses. The Cookie Man can. Hello, Randy. Thank you for joining me, my friend. That's all I see in the chat so far. Might just be a pretty lonely show tonight, but thank you for joining me, my friend. All right, we've got Ginger uh, Brute Squad, meaning Ginger Brute, which is one of my favorite decks, too. I know I said that yesterday, but this is my favorite deck of 2020. I got a bunch of 5 O's with it, and then for some reason, everybody didn't play it. Um, you could argue that Cannonade is a bit of an issue. And you'd be right, but we have some options in that with Hydroblast Dispel and Hollow in the sideboard, but more on that later. So the original list of this ran Springleaf Drum. Sp excuse me, Spring Leaf Drum. Yeah, that's how you say it. So what I did was uh, I took those out because they were great early, but I hated drawing them later, and we were always a little bit mana flooded, and Gorilla Shaman's a thing, and it was it, it could eat us alive with uh, the lands the way they were. So what we, the tech I used, we had Survivor's Encampment. We went with its twin holdout settlement. We have so many creatures, and they all turn into Bird of Paradise. So that's the logic behind these two. Um, we've got uh, four seats and four dens. So a grand total of 16. This curve is super, super low. Even though you see things like this, these always cost one, one. So this is like... Um, Draw two, draw two. This is usually free. This is usually free. This costs one. We got one, which usually bounces this, so you can attack with it again, or you know, re reset a land or whatnot. Uh, Therbert Inspector gives you an artifact. Flare Husk is kind of the hidden MVP of the deck. A lot of times, uh, it eats some removal, makes something big, gets gets around some uh, removal and such. Gingerbrood, obviously, this thing's just packed full of evasion. Um, and then when they tr fog lock you or something, you've always got an out with this. Remember, it gains you life, and you can kill creatures with it too. So uh, speaking of creatures, we've got three Journey to Nowheres and four Sun Chasers. So the only thing uh, that really costs more than two, I mean, you could say these do, but normally we're only going to be playing one for those, is the Harsh Sustenance, which we have one of. We have one in the sideboard as well uh, to combat Tron. Speaking of Tron, we've got all four uh, Fae Macabre, one Dispel, four Hydroblast, three Prismatic Strands, and two Hollow. So, man, it is awfully quiet. This is, this is what I thought last night was going to be like, but uh, I don't know. What you going to do? Anyway, if you are in the chat and uh, you're being quiet, please hang out and uh, let me know that you're there. But until then, we're just going to jump on in here and uh, see what we can see. At least we don't have jumping screens and such. So, yeah, uh, Brute Squad's one of my favorite lists. It just always seems to get there. Uh, it's all about that opening hand. So, um, yeah, good times. Hey, Zao Zao Tix or <laughs> Zao Tix MTG. All right, maybe they are getting a snack. Says Nocturnal. Yes. Perhaps we shall see. Uh, hey, there's Shirazman. I can't believe you made it again. My gosh. You talk about dedication, my friend. Thank you. I hey, Believe me. You can just uh, leave it on. Go get go get some sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, um, Low Range Sushi. Hello. Always happy to see Popper. All right. Good to see you. And PT Bobby in the house. I just saw the, uh, the Twisted Abomination commercial. <laughs> that was a, it's a little gruesome. <laughs> it's funny as hell, though. I really like it. I always have... I was falling asleep in the <laughs> oh nice last night yeah it's uh <laughs> that one that one goes a long way all right let's see what if there's a bunch of people waiting or is there some event going on and they're waiting for the rounds we'll just hang out here and see what we can see this is uh wednesday night it's the second night as you can see in my glorious frame deluxe here of our little uh twitch push so uh, and thank you we got so many uh little donations last night very very nice uh vastly appreciated i always always nice to see and i've got um let's see a little bit of flair behind me i was even thinking of going super nerd and i've got these uh pins from our local magic store they're just you know your typical 
pin them on your shirt and I was thinking of like wearing them here and I couldn't make them look good. I have a beanie and I was trying to, you know, because I am playing kind of an Azorius deck today. And so uh, I still can't figure out a thing to do with these. I was thinking maybe I can put them on the background, but then they're too little. So I don't know what's going on there. All right, I would jump into some of these games, but, you know, they, they, these are um, like some official tournament going down here. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Let's see. We've got... Hip, I played... He, I uh, played Magic somehow, catching the stream again. Very nice, very nice. Maybe we should just jump in to here. What is a cancer deck? Red testing versus cancer decks? I don't even know what that means. Hmm. Got me Mayberry Ale going tonight, so I'll probably have a few punts here. Well, we can uh, just jump in here, and then I'll just squeeze out of this one and say, oh, oh, now I feel like a jerk. Shoot. Uh oh, welcome. Which one should I do? Which one should I do? I, I'll do the first one that comes up. Let me apologize first of all. Of course, the second I do that, right? Come on. Let's see. Yeah, we'll play first here. Whoop! I can't double Q. Let me do this. Say sorry. Apologies. All right. I gotta kill that one. We'll concede that match. That was ridiculous. We wait a minute for a match, and then we get this. All right, so we'll keep this. We'll keep. I said keep. Come on now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have some Cancer decks or Tier 1 Tron. Yeah, I would think that too. I think uh, everybody's on the same page if you were to uh, have a hunch on what that is. So, All right, let's go Gaia 07. See what we got going on here. We got a pretty explosive hand. Ornithopters are not to be underestimated. Did I choose the wrong person to uh, quit against because this person's taking like quite a bit of time come on now man we're just like dead on arrival here Is this person here let's see why is the chat so big are they here okay let's go Oop. all right so we're gonna lead off with this we're gonna lead off with this then we'll drop another ornithopter metal craft's pretty easy to get with this list if we need it. What we need right now is a human. We'll drop this. Three flyers on turn one ain't bad. I know two of them don't do too much, but uh, we'll try to remedy that in a few. Maybe if we draw a tooth. We'll go from here, and we'll pass the turn. There's a pretty weird new new bug on Moto today, it seems. Oh, what, you, what is it, Shiraz? I haven't played yet. I played on paper to warm up a little bit, but other than that, I was trying not to burn out because playing three nights in a row... Streamwise is pretty interesting. What do we got here? Stompy? I definitely have enough blockers to keep that Vault Scourge busy. All right. Uh, we don't have a human yet. I've got this. This will be one, two, three, four. We can bring this out here. So now we've got one, two, three, and this will make four. You always want to play your uh, critters, I mean your spells, first before attack phase because there's so many uh, combat tricks that come into play here. So... I'm just going to bash right on in here. If he wants to trade, I'm cool with that. We will lose metal crap, but we got it right behind in the journey behind that. So, Mog War Marshal and Empty the Warrens are creating swamp tokens instead of goblin tokens. Well, we don't have to worry about Empty the Warrens, but War Marshal is pretty interesting. What a strange thing. Oh, Gohola Deccan Chayo. Nice. Catch you live again today. Two out of two. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, just happy we got anybody, really. I thought it was just going to be me and my buddy Randy hanging out. Hmm. These will be some pretty fast. Oh, little fights here too, man! All the all the clowns on parade. I was stuck in a match. I wish I was. That was that was so funny. It was like we waited like a minute, minute or two, maybe even two, for anybody to show up. And then I'm like, okay, I'll jump in. And then of course, down right when everybody wants to join up. All oh, right. Well, you might as well gain a life there. I would have attacked, but what you gonna do? I think we might want to wait on that because they do have a. What would we call that? Journey insurance with a Vastwood move here. Um, I hate doing this because it's a little bit clunky, but I'm just going to hard cast this. We might draw into a tooth and that could uh, change some things up. Oh, though. I wonder what a swamp token looks like. <clears throat> Can you tap it for mana? Is it just a land or what? Oh, smite, eh? You turncoat. <laughs> 
All right, I'll be a little boring here. I'm just going to come in with the hawk. I don't want to lose my brute. Probably like a swamp. <laughs> I would assume so, but who knows? Maybe you can't. Maybe you have to sacrifice it to make a black mana or something. I don't know. Speaking of black mana, I even have one of these. These cheesy things. Actually, my son uses them the best. We got him a set for uh, Christmas, and uh, when he floats mana, he puts it on the play mat. So it's a pretty neat little way to uh, keep keep uh, track of what mana you have there. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on here. All right, what do we got here? This is, uh, I believe it's Stumpy. Of course, the Flare Husk kind of throws you off a little bit there. Hmm. Yeah, they'll probably have another update tomorrow to fix it or whatnot. Who knows? And thanks to RIW Hobbies, we uh, have a little bit of a chance of getting noticed by the mothership. I know he was going to, uh, or he sent a message out to uh, Gavin over there at the mothership and hasn't heard anything back, but we can stay hopeful. We might, for the second time, land on the mothership's homepage. That would be pretty cool for our ratings. All right, they're going to gain a life. No tricks here. What do we got? What do we got? Is this going to be some... All right, we don't have any islands, so we don't have to worry about that. I kind of don't want to pull the trigger on Journey till he over-invests in like a Rancor or an Elephant's Guide or um, he's tapped out, so I don't have to worry about Vines. So. Belcher Mage, good to see you, man. It's been a while. Awesome to have you. All right, here we are. Let's, uh, hmm, I guess we can uh, rock like this. Rock like this. I'll just come over for four. We got good blockers here. Yeah, but it would be interesting to uh, trade with um, the river boa here. But um, oh well, we'll just do this. Bit of a slower. We're, we're in no trouble life wise. So I think this is just Stompy with like he must have ran into a bunch of like mono black control decks and he's just tired of getting edict. So he threw in Flare Husk. But make no mistake, Flare Husk is a beast in this deck. I mean, imagine. We get Edict, or we, we block with this. It already saves us some life, and then we equip it. We got a 1-3 that can just sit there and block Skyfishers and Delvers and all kinds of things all day, or at least trade. So Toothpaker in the house. All right. I'm about to share a few groups and host. Nice. Yeah, Toothmaker was telling me about raids the other day. It just sounded like a nefarious thing, like, I don't want to get raided. So I always checked it off, and I never looked into it, but I guess... um. We're going to try to look into that in the next few days, and then once we're done, if somebody's of the popper ilk, we can just uh, s s you know slap all our f followers online. Is that how it works, Toothmaker? I can't quite tell, but um, Belcher Mage, it has been forever. Where have you been? That's awesome. Good to have you back. I know uh, Why Do I Need Such a Long Name was gone for like two years. <laughs> ah, crazy. You know, I'm surprised. I'm not burned out at all. I really, uh, really thought I would be kind of like, I don't know. I just think the the medicine is playing something you really like. So I don't think I'd be singing the same tunes if I was playing Teachings or Tron. But you know, um, John Wilkerson, right? I did not know that Belcher Mage. It's nice to know though. Alrighty. Well, we don't even need this, and we'll just uh, keep taking nothing. They get one life, but Belcher Mage, I never knew that. Hand of God. Everybody has like three names, their real name, their moniker on Twitch, their MTGO name, and then sometimes their Twitch name. Did I say that already? I don't know. This is true. All right. Ooh, what is this? I have to click on a card. Moving wall bear. When it enters the battlefield, if a creature died this turn, put two counters on it. All right, that's what we're waiting for. You all laugh at me for not being patient enough. Well, look at this, patience. Just stick to one name everywhere. It makes it easier. I'm kind of that way, says the guy playing his propaganda with the name Deluxikov. Sorry, I'm a hypocrite. All right, this is cool. We got a nice little explosive turn here. Do this. Like I said, if you want to pick up this deck, number one rule, do everything before you attack because you tend to be able to draw into things like the tooth. And uh, that's just a lot of... Good lines of play there. Hey, let's see. I can trade with that bear. I kind of like that play. Let me do this. I'll feign a little weakness here. 
We'll make this unblockable. We'll come over with everybody. And act like, oops. Well, Pop again, is this show? That's true. I guess so, Toothmaker. Oh, how I wish I could go back in time and just make my name like Azorius Mage or or a Magic Man or so, you know something that's a little more on the nose. All right. We're going to just try to chop down his field here and keep him with a 1-1 one, one as it goes here. I'm just going to loosely call this Stompy with a little asterisk by it because Stompy it is not. But we're going to remove some goods. That bear, imagine him. That's the thing he's raging against. He's like, I got killed by a cookie. <laughs> he does not want to. Well, how would you go home if you were dead, right? But I guess the spirit of the bear would have to tell its uh, ancestors in shame. Yes, a little ginger cookie with, with some frosted yummy sugar on it took me down. We were talking about that yesterday, remember? Little tiny squirrels taking on like soldier humans and being bigger. <laughs> not me. I am not deluxe. It's not too <laughs> Jazz hands. Oh, did you guys see the Lotus sell for over 500k? No. Enlighten us. And anybody out there, if you need to, uh, if you want to support an online store, RIW Hobbies on Facebook, feel free to uh, Beltramage send that to um, either Toothmaker, uh, Shirazman, or Little Fight, any of our moderators, and um, we'd be more than happy to plug your uh, website there especially in this time of covid this guy's awesome he's does so much for the community and um just a sweetheart online and if if you want to order a box of caldheim and such you know give give them a shot they're uh can't recommend enough so just closed on ebay yo popper tim hey -o. i think i saw that ad really kicking myself for not buying one when i was a kid says nocturnal 32 I should just say Randy, but then nobody's going to know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to keep calling you Nocturnal 32. And why 32? What's the deal with that, Randy? Enlighten us to the number moniker. I picked Guinness 25 years, saw a CD case, and named... Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kaczynski. Nice. Oh, the match? Come on. All right. We'll just jump right into another one there. We were at 20 the whole time, so wonder what that other game would have been like. Maybe we would have got thrashed. All right. I will try to be patient here, and we will just sit here, and I will go over the deck list until we patiently await another, hopefully, victim and not a uh, conqueror. So against uh, Tron, the, the big modus operandi is, uh, you know, harsh sustenance. We're able to uh, aim it to the face, or you could respond to, like, a memnotic wall. Normally, we're going to have uh, the fairy macabre, maybe even a spell for that. Hollow is interesting for, um, you'd be very warranted in playing three hollow. Come on, refresh. Let's go. Hello. What is this? Oh. So, uh, yeah, hollow reads, prevent all combat damage, a spell with deal this turn, and you gain life equal to it. This with, like, Evancar's Justice or the Cannonade is just brutal. You can gain, like, 16 life sometimes with it, and uh, you stop the spell. Moreover, the more important thing is that Hydroblast, Pyroblast, Red Elemental Blast, you know, all these things are, are all red-blue persuasion and we're white. So we're good times. All right, we'll keep this. Ah, the mystery of evolving wilds. Here we are. Boy, viewers are way up there again. Man, thanks for joining us, everybody. I can't get over our uh, strange little uh, Wednesday night successes here. I knew I forgot something. I always, whenever I stream, I don't, I'm not sick. I don't have a snotty nose. I just get like a water nose. I don't know if it's from talking too much or what, but I usually always have like a napkin here and one or two wipes and I'm good, but it's gross to have to use my hand, but I'll have to. Oh, and we have a new Kaldheim trailer. That's nothing new. I mean, it just came out today, but we're going to be sharing that as the last one. We have Nocturnal 32's nice VO read of... Um, Fire and Ice, uh, nice chili vodka with uh, Jaya and uh, Jace, and uh, Wiki Bear, courtesy of the Conan O'Brien Show. Done up in a nice little uh, frame. Well, I'm not quite sure here. Yeah, I think we, uh, we're going to play the human. Grab this. We're going to go for blue. Uh, we'll, we'll tap this since we can block with the Therabin Inspector. 
We'll just pass the turn here. This is one of the best decks in the format. Uh, UR fairies. UR meaning just blue red. Okay, well, this is kind of a no-brainer. Devon Inspector doing double duty against uh, ninja shenanigans. <laughs> Wiki Bear! It's so hard. I wish they never stopped making those. I like Wiki Bear so much, I wish there was like 4,000 of them and I could just rotate those, and those are always the bathroom breaks. But I guess that would turn off some people. Who knows? I don't believe. All right, we'll drop a holdout settlement. Let me rock like this with the uh, Sun Chaser. Or it's probably going to get scredded to death. That's all right. One, two, three. We don't have metal. I mean, we don't have um. What's the word? Uh, metal craft yet. I mean, affinity math here. So I want to play the thing that I uh, want to get countered. I guess first. This is probably toast, so I'm just going to attack into this. We're going to keep our mana open so that we can uh, make something prevented from haste if he wants to do a spell stutter sprite. Ah, this is frustrating here. Um, I kind of like the uh, flare husk to stick around, but I want to maximize our mana, but I don't want to walk into a sprite. I'm just going to pass the turn. Oh, Dark QR. First time here. What are you playing? We're playing Brute Squad deck I made um, based on a fan submission and it got tweaked and got into a pretty cool thing. We've got a few uh, tutorials online and stuff and a, multiple 5.0s with it before I just kind of went off to another land. It's a really nice aggro Azorius uh, metal craft list. It's pretty sweet. Well, they've got the mana there, don't they? Let's see if we can make them bite on um, Flare Husk. Maybe we can get them to throw out a, a spell stutter sprite if they're counter happy. Cool. All right. Well, we don't care about that. I'll play the thing we do care about. But there's probably another scred or a lightning bolt behind this. I'll just slow roll it here. Yeah, the uh, little fighter, Shiraz, if you could scroll up to the top of the show, I don't know if you even can do that and throw the desk, deck list up. That'd be cool. Or appreciated or whatever. Oh, I guess they don't have any uh, red removal. They would have used it there. A little bit of a free duress there. All right. Well, this causes uh, this deck fits. I want to thought it looks like garbage. For the boys, MC Griffo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random. I like it. Uh, I'm not going to be paying the mana for Ginger Brute, so I might as well just uh, draw some cards. Every, every creature thinks to hold out settlement and survivor's encampment is a bird of paradise. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I guess we can do this. They got another spell stutter sprite. I don't really care about that. That's cool. Let's play another one. And go like this. Uh, should I? I'll just double block the uh, ninja. If he wants to, if you know, if I double block with like an inspector ginger brute combo, it's gonna really put the screws to him if he's gonna shoot the sun chaser or the inspector. So there we go. Thank you, thank you. Anybody want a peanut? No more rhymes now. I mean it. All day long feels pretty silly to use a scred or a lightning bolt on an ornithopter, but that one of them will probably turn into a ninja. Yep, and they can counter most of our deck since it's two, so now it's all about baiting them. Not two can play that game. We're up on the life total. All right, well, we've got that. There's two. One will get me three. That really stops everything. This is a very interesting sequence. I could drop that as bait, counters it, grab it, or drop that as bait, he counters it, have a permanent uh, problem. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna lean on this. He's he's gonna drop the. Um... Yep. There it is. Cool. Now we'll just shut off any sort of hope with. Uh... Boop. A three three on the ground. And we will attack. 
In order to keep the card advantage going, they're going to have to decide between Sun Chaser and the uh, Ardent Recruit. So you are Delver. I don't even know if Delver's in this, right? It's probably just you are Faye. <laughs> you keep using that word. Got another ninja? Good grief. All right. Inconceivable. That would be a cool deck, the Cliffs of Insanity. That would be pretty sweet. Well, this is kind of cool. As you can see, we can play this. I mean, we're just going to tap that EOT. They've got another sprite in hand right now. So I don't want to trip the brute. I think I just come over with this. They're at three life if you think about it, if harsh sustenance doesn't get countered. It's never a dead card. All right, I think we'll use it here. We'll call black. And I don't plan on blocking with this, so we'll go like this and go boop. Now our ginger boots are pretty close, and we reset our life total. Make no mistakes, this is one of the best decks in the format up here. And we're probably going to have to worry about cannonade in game two. Right now, this is probably turning into, what, ninja number three? Really? God. I wish I drew like that. Well, no matter what we draw, we're going to want to uh, attack because he's going to have to throw something in front of that Sun Chaser. Well, that's frustrating. We are at 20. I guess we just make this have haste. I'm going to do this because we know he has a spell starter sprite in hand. And he has to play it to survive, which is kind of nice to know that they don't have any burn. Otherwise, this play wouldn't be here. So it's, uh, I know I say this often, but it's like we get a free to rest there. We might walk into a hard counter here, but that's all right. We've got the win next turn in the Ginger Brute. Who wants to use a uh, removal on that, right? Okay. Have you seen the meme? That day that she realized she said, I love you. And she was both that saying to Vader at Propaganda. Huh? <laughs> I have not. I would expect that to come from um, Belter Mage because I was just talking to him on Facebook about our mutual love for uh, Boba Fett. Mine is vast. That is like uh, that guy left an or that character left an imprint on me. Got to meet Jeremy Bullock at a. Um, okay, we win that one. Let's go to the sideboard here, folks. I like Hollow in this. I don't really like this, even though it kept us in it, and it's a nice little surprise package. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. Journey's nice, but I'm not quite sure. I really want to see more than two. And uh, Ginger Brute can probably go for one. We're going to bring in two hollows and a dispel, and I think we're just going to call it at that. The nice thing about having Survivor's Encampment and Holdout Settlements is every single creature we've got is just a Bird of Paradise. If you don't know what Bird of Paradise is, it taps for any color mana. Which is why we could have cast this, even though we're not playing black mana. If you look closely, yes, we are. We're playing every kind of mana. Yes, we are. Good times. He's no good to me dead. <laughs> One of the things, I don't know if Belter Mage caught that on, um, we got the Disney Plus or whatever for a few weeks or months or whatever, and uh, I was watching the originals, and God, George Lucas just butchered those, man. Even He even changed Boba Fett's voice in the original, and there, there was a disdain he had against Vader that really gave him a lot of street cred, and I think that's why... It was so endearing to a lot of people where they're like, oh, my God, this dude's talking to Vader like that. It's like it just gave him a lot of street cred. It was like, whoa, who's the, what's this guy's story? And that's what was so intriguing about him. And then they just re-recorded it and they didn't give him any direction. It was just this flat delivery. No uh, offense to 
whoever the actor was, I forget his name offhand, but um, maddening. We only, uh, yeah, we got to throw this back, I think. We could stick it out. We've got a nice little, uh, we're on the draw. I don't know, maybe we stick it out. That'd be funny as hell to beat down with a flare husk. Oh, Elder Horse God, McClunky. Okay, I don't get the Boba Fett love, says Popper Tim. Oh, boy. I'm going to mulligan. We'll keep this. This is a gorgeous hand. I like this. I like this. Oh, we could probably get rid of this. Except that we've got human, human. Um, We'll get rid of the inspector. Just because we have a, of one mind here. i got to keep the Athulda communication open. Hey, oh, oh that kind of hurts. It's, this is the draw when we really want one of our natural-esque uh, lands showing up here. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, hmm. Well, let's attack. At least we'll tap their mana if they want to trade. That's cool. Why can't I have one of my holdout settlement heavy draws here and laugh in the face of the gorilla shaman, right? I know that'll be that'll be a complete show tonight, Shirazman, if, if that goes down. Elder Horse God, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Would you elaborate? Sorry if I'm reading all over the chat here, going a little bit backwards. Alrighty. Oh man, this is almost auto scoop time. Good grief. Normally this isn't an issue. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna attack. See if I can keep changing these up. Got me Mayberry Ale here. Super Pooper or Popper. <laughs> Parauper 23. Good to see you. So I'm trying to pour this without a bunch of uh, foam coming up. Here we are. All right. Looks like we're going to be one and one if this mana ratio keeps up. We need to hold out settlement or the uh, survivor's encampment stat. Oh, it was <laughs> super boom. Okay. <laughs> In the newest edit to a uh, new hope, Greedo says McClunky to Han before. Oh, man. Elder House God is bringing the, uh, just the nerd cred to full circle. I am not worthy. All right. Here we go. Good times. Let's do this. Laugh in the face. Go like this. Boop. Now, Gorilla Shaman is powerful, but it cannot target creatures. So this isn't a creature. If you look closely, it's just the equipment that makes the germ. I should have called this the COVID deck. Look at this. No offense to anybody that got it. I shouldn't have to qualify that. You all know that. Stella Cider here. Nice. Kona tuta solo. I remember that one. Testu de Oscar. I think that's how he says it. I'm showing my nerd cred here. That's the original. Didn't you brew Brute Squad? Yes, I did. But, let's see. I want to drop that so that I have a human. Arrgh. Let's play a human. We're probably going to eat a fairy here. Well, that's a good sign. They don't have the fairy, or they're just uh, making it look like they're a... Hey, look at that. Cool. Well, we're just going to attack here. That's cool. See, we have... What's it called? Um, Eluda. Elthuda. How do you say E-L-U-D-H-A, little fight, in deluxe's? Ethudo communication. Oh man, he took our human away. We got nothing now. Woo! <laughs> Rick Flair. Times. Yeah, I I am a it's a big head scratch why uh I don't you don't see this placing a lot. When I when I get the uh, itch, I go and seriously about 8 times out of 10 I'll 50 with it or whatnot, but I haven't done it in a while cuz like that's my my biggest problem as a as a uh, magic player. I just I get kind of like 
wanderlust. I'm just like, oh, what's this shiny new thing? And I, I go over there. I bought a VHS trilogy of Star Wars, a goodwill in great shape, not the special. Oh, nice. Yes, Popper Tim. You know, it's funny that that's just not available. Like, it's pretty hard to find those things. I'm sure YouTube, somebody's got it out there, but it's just that you'd think that they would get better. It's like, especially like the Return of the Jedi or, or like um, when when Obi-Wan, you know, does the whole, these aren't the droids you're looking for. And in the background, there's all these damn dinosaurs and crazy noises going on. It's just like, what are you doing, Lucas? Do we trade? I don't think we do. I'm going to attack with just the germ because he can kill the germ. Grass is always greener in room. Oh, it, let a fight. It is E L U D H A. Eluda. Eluda. Total communication. Let's make it two. Could have saved that for the brute squad and stopped him from drawing. That might have been the better play. Now this definitely has some staying power. I know Spell Slam's been have a little bit of a crush on this deck, and there's been a few people here and there. But I mean, when I made I made um, uh, Boros Boli, that really took off, and it's still a contender, and it it shows up in the ratings pretty regularly. And I this is hands down better. All right, we're losing this one. I'm just going to put the L already. Pretty hard to cut. Fight of three cards a turn. Gorilla Shaman's a thing. The old list, this was completely dead. We uh, actually hold out settlement would have been a spring leaf drum, and we really wouldn't have any game here. Lud us. Luda? Luda. Said quick. Luda. Okay, Luda. Is that right? Luda. L-U-D-A. That's how I'd spell it. Woo! Alrighty, we're dead in the water, folks. I guess I can just uh, play this again. I don't know if they know that they can kill that flare husk. Which will kill the germ. I'll attack here. I'll block one of the ninjas and try to kill it. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, man. So Nocturnal 32, we went to Bill's Casino way back in like the late 90s uh, in the Tahoe area. We were all, you know, doing great, making money, playing blackjack. And here comes this, I think she was maybe Vietnamese or whatever, but just this soulless woman. She just, she had no um, no joy in her life. And she just took the energy just like, it was like uh, that power down that Obi-Wan does. It's like, boom. <laughs> and we were just so despondent. And we just, we lost every single hand. Just, I mean, she she took the whole, like, four or five of us. Like, we just went broke in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it was like, okay, this sucks. <laughs> hey, yo, mana tapping. Good night, man. Yeah, good morning to you, wherever you are, depending. We're getting trounced. I Early Gorilla Shaman really spelled the end of us because we had an artifact-heavy draw. All right. Off to game three. We smashed. They smashed. Let's see what we can do. Over Dispel, I think I'm going to favor uh, Hydro Blasts. Knowing that they are running the Gorilla Shaman. Bring in two of these. I get rid of these. Bring in another one of these. Um, get rid of one hollow. So we'll go up to three, two, and one. And hope for the best. Ever tried some red and brute squad? I have. Galvanic is handy. Yep. That's fine. I don't need it. It's got so much evasion. Journey has built in just kind of a um, reinforcement. Or like a, not reinforcement. All right, we like this draw. 
be nice to draw a human soon, but has built in discipline. What I mean by that is like sometimes if you have galvanic blast, you can play it a little wantonly or recklessly where you're just like, you know, get that out of the way. And it's um, whereas journey cost two and tend to just kind of hoard it a little bit and everything else kind of dances around. Ginger brute sneaks through everything flying and then you throw flare husk on the back of stuff. It's, it's good times. Well, I'm going to try to bait out the um, gorilla shaman while we can. There's no reason not to. Might as well get in for one here. Prismatic strands doesn't do too much against this because we have so many uh, artifact sources too. All right. This is fine. Uh, we're just going to go crazy here. Really hoping I... Uh, so even a uh, electricery style effect here, yeah, it wipes three creatures out, but we're left with two things that make our creatures better later in the game. And we can go from there. Even here, we're able to stay pretty darn aggro. This is pretty nice for a turn two. It's ugly, but it'll get there. All right. Probably waiting on a cannonade. Not too often uh, Electricery is good against this deck. Obviously, this draw, it's good. So we've already got Metalcraft. This is just kind of a okay sort of play, and we've got the settlement behind it. We're good. We don't need any mana after this. In fact, we can just play this for blue. Um, I'd rather not tap the mana for that to have haste. So here's what's cool. We can do this to this. Um... Yeah, I guess we can go like this, tap this, bring this back. We return the tooth. Yes. Whoop. Attack for two. It'll be three. I don't know what Strongo combo is. Ask the chat. Never heard of it. You tell us. All right. I really want this human to drop. All right. Let's just attack here. One of the few times I want to do st something first. Cool. We get to lose a uh, Gorilla Shaman. Now, when you're doing this... Um, Ginger Brute's very good late, and obviously this. I, the worst thing you could do is activate this. Second worst thing would be to activate this. The best thing you can do is this. He's got an electricery. Okay. Even better. Be nice if we had an option for this, but we don't. All right. At least his dude dies too. So we play this, and then we go like this and this. And we got two creatures. The next turn, we can uh, make them a, like a you know four four or a, a one three. That's pretty cool. That sucks. Here we go. All right, I really like seeing this card. This is what's cool about Ornithopter. We have a human, we have a non-human. We're going to draw two cards. Uh, I hate doing this. We'll play blue, kill that, draw two cards. Ugh, really wanted to stay on the aggro there. Oh, well. Let him see a little bit of our counter magic. You can see it's pretty competitive against one of the top decks here. Pretty sometimes. I mean, if I practice, I tend to have a little bit of an advantage, but it's not much. It's like 55%. But 90% of that is they're not used to playing this list. So I'm sure if everybody started doing it, it might be a little bit more even. All right. Two cards get you it. Let's see, what's most likely to get countered? Um, we'll tap white here. 
for this. If he's got a spell stutter sprite, it'll show up here. Nope. Okay. I'd rather draw some cards here. Why didn't he attack there? That was strange. All right. We'll do this. Good to go. Now the cannonade's interesting, but I mean, it's not going to do too much with a flare husk on any of those. It's just going to. Um, I mean, when we get flooded, we're going to be able to protect our ornithopter and inspector indefinitely. You'll notice they have played uh, Ponder, Preordain, and Frantic Inventory. And uh, we're at 42. They're at 41. We're within one card of, uh, you know, the notorious draw the time style deck. So we got quite a bit, bit here. Now, version 3, if you remember a few weeks back, uh, we showcased with Fall from Favor. Never thought that deck, it, it never, that card never felt good in this list. Cost 3. Always cost 3. And Monarch's nice and all, but we have Ginger Brute, and 90% of the time that's just a Monarch Thief card, so. Appreciate that, Popper Tim. Thank you for the, uh... Alrighty. Wow, returned a three-mana flyer. Okay. Don't mind that. We'll tap our flyer, bring out something pretty nasty. Bring this dude back. Boop. I want to keep that hollow alive. I think we're just going to hang out here. Next turn, we'll start equipping things and doing some stuff, but right now I want to uh, feign a little weakness with hollow. God, I've got eight minutes. Our opponent has almost 17. Somebody's been talking too much. All right, there's that. The only flyer we have doesn't really do anything, so we don't care about that. Okay, free to rest there. We know they don't have any removal. Finally, nice of you to show up, land. Thank you for that. I'll throw this on this. And we'll make this have haste. And we'll attack with these two. Woohoo! I think I'll keep the tooth back for the inspector uh, play. Well, or we could do four. Hmm. Let's do this. Ninja's gonna be dead. That dude might come back. All right. I'll just make this hit for three. What is this? Alrighty. So we still have access to Hollow, one of the best. Now, if he plays a cannonade here, look at this. It would be a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 life that we would gain. And, you know, with one uh, Flare Husk on that, we can just block this indefinitely. I'm not too worried about that, unless it turns into a ninja, which it looks like it's about to do. But that really stultifies his turn. Really, yeah, he gets to draw a card, but if he wants to replay that, he's, yeah, they're sitting on some sort of counter magic. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we can do here. Well, let me do this. I'm just going to uh, make this unblockable. I mean, the Ornithopter is just going to hold down double duty here. This is fine. Could attack for the uh, remainder, but I'd rather keep that ninja at bay and force him to use good removal on an ornithopter. And in the response, you know, we can hollow. So, I 
Actually, the color I would choose to pr uh, merge in a Brute Squad would be black for Cast Down and Bone uh, Picker. Those are very uh, Brute Squad-esque cards. And I have a few builds, but just not too... Feels a little too cutesy. Wow! Dude just drew three cards. All right. Stuff's about to go down. Spell Stutter Sprite's going to block our hollow or a hollow play here. Well, maybe not. That's interesting. All right. I forgot I have my scarf hanging on the corner there. <laughs> How would you pronounce our opponent's name? Mr. Mr. Frodo? I don't remember uh, Sam stuttering. I'm sure he did, though. Down comes the Stormbound Geist. All right. We're representing a little bit of hate. Maybe some counter magic here. Can only block flyers. We're all right. Da, 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 da. There's already a Fey out. Let's lead off with the obvious here. I probably want to counter this. There it is. I'll do white on this. Wow, okay. That kind of sucks. I mean, we can block it all day long, though, so. Yeah, I don't want to really attack with Gingerbread here. Or do I? Maybe I do. And the odds are so great that he's got the other thing. I think we attack here. We'll get in here. Yeah, walls is no joke. I know yesterday's deck has a big issue with walls. This one can too. Walls is just a great deck. All right, they're screaming that they've got at least that. I'm going to at least try to stop the removal here. We'll just block here. At least stop them from... Oh. Nothing turned into a ninja. Got a little lucky there. All right. Cool. Didn't expect that to go down. Well, uh, we're going to just trip our clue here. Draw a card. Okay. And no chance on drawing anything else. Let's keep everything a mystery, but I guess we'll do this. Haste. We'll play this. This is representing some real problems here. Here he comes. Unfortunately, we're a sitting duck if he's got an answer for this, but we're just going to pile up on this. And here's where we try to counter this with white mana. See how the answer? They usually do. Okay. It's gone, but the cool thing is we didn't invest too much in the tooth. I would have uh, recommended waiting till we double invest in the tooth because now our ornithopter can take down a ninja. But we're a bit naked here. It's anybody's game, but I've only got four minutes left. And I'm on my second Mayberry, so <laughs> I'll probably make some mistakes. Good times. Thank you for joining me, everybody, man. I really appreciate it. This is crazy. can't believe I've got like 30 viewers right now and... Oh, that's a nice play. Kind of a mother may I sort of attack phase here. Very cool. I'm almost worried if I don't feel burned out at the end of the week. It's like, should I keep doing like multiple shows like this? Craziness. Three minutes left. Gotta start conserving my time here. Ninja comes down. Well, if this proved anything, 
even an out of practice brute mage, brute squad mage can uh, hold its own against a, a UR control deck. Really wanted a brute squad there. Let's go like this. I already know there's more of a bait move, making him think that we might have something better behind it. They're not falling for it. That sucks. All right. Hmm. I'll put this up. Scred will make short work of that if they've got anything. They might not, though. We'll attack here. All right. Keep in mind, uh, when you play this style of deck with Flare Husks, this has taken one damage. It's not going to be relevant right now, but sometimes when you move a uh, husk off of it, you can kill your own creature, and it really sucks when that happens. So, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know what the chat's talking about right now. So you keep doing your thing and uh, at propaganda me if you want my opinion on anything, but I've, I've been uh, trying to stay on my clock here a little bit. Outside of time, this is a pretty close matchup. And our first break will be the cool uh, fire ice commercial, courtesy of Mr. Nocturnal32 in the chat. With this pleasing VO read. Come on over, Ninja. I got your number. Nyok, nyok. Therapin Inspector is going to write home about that. I took out a ninja of the deep hours with this look on my face. Whoa. Oh, I like this. Man, this is cool. This is just going to be countered. Normally, I would, I'm would. i just going to play this about holding down control and see if he counters it. If he doesn't... Yeah, okay. I was going to return a flare husk, actually. Come on, fate. Okay. No reason to really do that, I guess. Here we go. No delusions here. I don't think we're going to win this one. 17 cards left on our opponent's control. There have been some times, it's scenarios like this, if you look at how many cards they have left and the resources available to them, if you're going to take one thing away from this evening's broadcast, it's this. Circle of Protection Blue is not played enough. You don't have to use it for all of these, but, you know, it's like, oh, that turned into a ninja? I'll stop that. You don't get to draw the card. I'll stop this hard thing from happening. You don't get to do that. COP White's another good one. Seeker of the Way. It's like, you don't get to gain life. Oh, here's open. This is kind of the game here. They probably have the counter. There's only two cards in their hand, though, but it's pretty late in the game. Yep, there we go. All right. Well, um, one, two, three, four. We almost got them, don't we? Uh, hmm. Block that and kill it. And put this here. Cool, cool. We will attack here, I believe. Let's see, that would be one, two, yeah. Wait, one, two, three. I mean, if he doesn't block, that's a bad move. We're going to pull back. Desert to propaganda. <laughs> I mean, ideally, deserts always... Oh, that's the death nail. Okay, we lose this one, guys. But this show is just competitive against this, though. Yeah, desert's always awesome. I mean, if you're looking at, like, a mid to late game, you know, board state, and you're like, oh, I wish I had a desert. And it's like, yeah, but what's it costing you early? I'll just show you the power of this, the uh, tooth. All right, 
they take us down. We're one and one, guys. Going to uh, roll to a commercial. Be back right after this. Our ingredients have historic roots. Our water combines the spreading seas of Zandakar with the rushing rivers of Ixalan. Our grain is harvested from windswept heaths under Amonkhet's nourishing second sun. From the russet wolf potatoes to the straw golem berries, each piece of our mystical puzzle is then blessed by the order of the ebon hand, transmuting our prismatic ingredients into a magical elixir that is then held for five Teferi time twists. Then our Balduvian brew mages carefully select only the finest examples, which are then exiled within our patented guild pack glass. Introducing Jaya's hot and spicy chili vodka and Jace's refreshing ice gin. Fire and ice. Experience your opposite. Available at all senior superstores. If you've been arrested, damaged, or killed, call the experienced attorneys at Jace, Gideon, and Vincent. Our lawyers specialize in Zorius Law and will fight to give you the justice you deserve. Call 1-800-296-7487 for a free consultation. Even if you've manned a vehicle while hibernating, our attorneys are on the stack 24 hours a day. Goblin, fairy, soldier, or mirror, call Jace, Gideon, and Vincere. Jace, Gideon, and Vincere. Call today. And we're back. Hopefully you guys have got a little refreshment there and... Joining me this evening as we go up against Bizotrock. Here we are. It's clunky, but we'll keep it. It's the, one of the main reasons we play Ornithopter, Flare Husk, and Ginger Brute is we need colorless mana acceleration. So we'll keep this. We're on the draw anyway, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's like... For a small legal consultation, it's like... <laughs> it's like, that's a Zorius Law for you, baby. I'm going to bury you in the fine print. Yeehaw. Actually, if I remember right, Toothmaker, I went to some just legal document and just copy-pasted like three paragraphs and just changed a few things to the word hydroblast or stuff like that and went from there. So, <laughs> All right. Don't mind seeing that. That usually means mono black. Which this deck, if I remember right, is really good against. Watch, we're going to just crash and burn, though. We'll see. Yeep, up, up, um. yeah, I do think deserts are very underplayed, but all right, we got mono black control. I tell you, it always hurts to lose to any sort of a fairy delver variant. I always brew to beat it and. Like I said, usually got the edge, but I'm just a bit out of practice here, so. Whatever. Are you having a good time? I don't want to do that. Hmm. Let's promote the artifact love here. Get a little two for one action. Would have been nice to draw a land there, but. Oh well. Probably Chittering Rat's turn if memory serves. All right. What do we got here? Is it going to be the Phyrexian Rager or the Chittering Rat? The Chittering Rat shows up. Okay. That's cool. I'll bury this dude. We'll just attack with two and then we'll keep the uh, tooth up. Actually, we'll attack with three with the Ginger Brute. Since we have three artifacts, we'll be able to cast uh, double tooth. No matter what he blocks, we'll be able to hit him for two, three, excuse me, and uh, kill the Chittering Rat. And instead of an unearth, we should be okay. 
Might be a bit slowed down if he's got another one behind it, but excuse me. Oh, too many bubbles. It is still yet to rain here, guys. I'm really waiting for it to go down. Darn it. All right, enough of the drama waiting here, Man Mono Black Control Mage. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I mean, are they waiting on force of will? I don't understand. Okay. And <laughs> upkeep and draw. Somebody has too many, uh, been raining here all night so far. Loving it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Nocturnal32 and I are one of the, two of the few people that really like that kind of weather. My goodness. Can we speed it up here? This is ridiculous. This guy has a stop on every th single thing here. Alrighty. Let's give him a little, uh, thank you. Maybe he's trading or something like that. Who knows? All right, we'll drop this. We've got one, two, three artifacts. We're attacking with everything. Let's go. Chittering up. Best card to bring up on a propaganda. <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> God, I hate that card. Not a bad card in the right deck. It just doesn't belong to Mono Black anymore. I will stop talking now. Hmm. All right, let's kill a rat and let's do some more damage. In case he has snuff out main, I doubt it, but whatever. Time walk yourself again. Keep in mind, guys, uh, we have one mana. This deck's pretty flexible. It's not ideal. I'd love to have two, maybe even three. I'd stop at three. I don't want more than that. Cool. Our dudes did. All right. Can't block any of our dudes because our little germ's going to pick off his bone picker. That's a nice thing to see. Just wonder what they took out. They should have taken out Chittering Rats. Yeah, Nocturnal, you've been to England. I haven't yet. I'm going to have to have a few days on our England trip, or our European trip with the family. In a, about a year or two, we're planning on it. We'll have to hitch up for a few brews, Shirazamon, meet up in a pub of your choosing, get a few pictures, meet face-to-face -face for probably the last time in our lives, to be honest. <laughs> Unless Elon Musk makes like air travel like cost three dollars coast to coast. I apologize for our opponent's incredibly slow paced droolings. Lordy, this is difficult. Uh, do I go with that or do I do this? One, two, three, four. You know what? I've got Metalcraft. So I'll just do this, play this. Play this and attack anyway. Draw two cards. We still haven't drawn a land. Here we go. Here we go. I'm waiting on a defile. I don't know what the deal is here be pretty funny if we can beat mono black with two lands <laughs> what is this guy's deal I just can't imagine spending that much time over five cards Okay, we that was your upkeep. All right, now we're on the draw phase. Yeah. Oh, is that Trevor's place, Nocturnal? Yeah, we gotta we gotta hook him up with that. Pretty sweet. All right. Uh, I guess we'll lose this. Glad I waited five minutes to get Chainer's edicted. Okay. Cool. 
Anything else? Here we go. Oh, nice, Nocturnal. All right, I'm about to scoop here just because this guy's just taking like 19 minutes to attack. You guys will say it's impatience. I'm just trying to put on a good show here, and this is not... He's probably multi-queuing here. If this gets to... Give him five seconds. All right, let's get moving here. There's nothing to do here. Okay. Ugh. All right, well, I'm going to go like this. Wait 15 minutes for them to okay it. I mean, unless you have snuff out main, I, I don't know why he's not just yielding here. Apologies, everybody. I don't mean to be come across like a jerk, but this is just molasses magic here. <laughs> and again. Wow, that was pretty fast. That was light speed for this guy. Let's go. Take a lightning bolt. Here we go. All right, cool. We will yield through the turn. Let's go. Every tick with the talk, our viewers go poof, poof, poof. <laughs> yep, totally dead on, little fight. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is collectively so many people's lives here. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I want to smash some faces. Let's do this. As we wait 13 minutes. <laughs> you are right. You and Little Fight know me all too well. It's funny my wife and I did a bunch of shopping today. And, you know, she, she knows the drill. I was uh, just going through things, and I'm like, okay, if we get gas first, we're going to avoid that line, and then we're going to be able to get there quicker. And blah, blah. She brought up, she was just like, and where do you have to be? I'm like, nowhere till 6, and it was like noon. <laughs> so now we will attack with things we don't care about. Yeah, I'll just do this. If you take efficiency and you make it a disease, that's kind of what I have. Cool. I'll get rid of a half of a germ. Flare husk will equip something else and make it impenetrable. Probably the brute squad. He wants us to attack with a recruit to a sun chaser. It's all right. I hope they have three chittering rats in their hands right now. All right. Good God. Apologies for my uh, disdain. Okay, now then. Not that good. And I'm actually going to lose a thought cast because I don't want to hang on to it if we're going to be facing off against uh, chittering rats and such. Nice little surprise element here. Good, 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 good. We have two spots open. We're going to bring in a dispel and probably a prismatic, although that is a little bit of a wait and see card. Hmm. 
I'll bring in the ThoughtCast. Yeah, efficiency nodding. Very nice. Oh, it's it's a disorder at this point with me. It has been for about six or seven years. And my wife will always call me on it. She's just like, you know, we don't have to be anywhere. And I'm just like, I know, but there's we could be there quicker if we do it this way. All right, here we go. <laughs> Longer than that. <laughs> he says he's not worried, but we know the truth. <laughs> uh, sometimes it sucks having friends that know you so well. But it's great, too. You're all right. Oh, God, if I wish one of these were white. Come on now. We got to mulligan this. I mean, what do we really have here? Boom, 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 boom. One edict, and we're stuck on holding out for a white mana, which we will probably get. We are on the draw. What do you guys say? Do we give black a chance and take 30 minutes for him to decide? No, mulligan. Keep this. I'm going to read you guys Moby Dick while our opponent sees if he wants to keep his hand or not. Oh, look at that. We only got to chapter one. Look at this. We have a human. We have that. Oh, I'll get rid of a brute squad here. We'll keep a journey. Done. In case Gary or Kombaji witches shows up. Alrighty. Gonna play mono black. Play the one I played last night. That's the real mono black. Play this. We got a human. Next turn we can play Ginger Brute of one mind. Draw two cards. Hopefully do some good stuff. I've been noticing when I watch a little bit of replays and check the quality of our streams, I do this too much and I hate that. So I'm gonna try to monitor myself. Done that with my lingo a lot. I'm going to try to do it with my facial tics. It's good I don't have a goatee. I'd be doing this all the time, right? Alrighty. Here we go. Artifact land would be nice. Nope, that's okay. We don't need it. We'll maybe go get one. You know, that was a little bit of a punt there. I should have uh, done this first. because We already had the mana for it. There it is. Say boop. Could have done it. Oh, well. We would have been able to attack for uh, four here instead of two, so that is a punt. It's how we know you're trying to win. <laughs> How's that, Toothmaker? I'm losing uh, I'm losing focus. Apologies. Thank you for that little fight. Keeping me honest. My ego hates that, but I love that you keep me honest. And there's the uh, time walk card of magic on both sides. My pleasure. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Get rid of all hope. Foil lands aren't so bad. White border lands. I better never lose to those. That's the point. Should come over for a fire blast. This is when I hope we get duressed. That would be hilarious. Or distressed. I'm just happy our opponent's playing a little bit faster. They're going from the uh, speed of sound to about the speed of lint. How's that for a tick joke there, nocturnal, right? Unfortunately, this is kind of showcasing when Cheddaring Rats can be good. <laughs> oh man, you jerk, Nocturnal. <laughs> uh, he's already on that train. It's always playing white bordered crap. Drives me nuts. Another Cheddaring behind this with like a Gary, and we will actually probably be going to game three if he has that, but. <laughs> Why do people like to torture me so much? I don't understand. Nocturnal, little fight, my wife, my son Sapphire. 
don't you guys love me? Come on. Don't you want to make my life smoother, not rougher? <laughs> Which is cottage. Just tapping down that ego, honey. <laughs> Good call. All right. I'll lose an ornithopter. Anything else? Cool. Two more life. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping he was going to stay back and block our haste creature. Nocturnal and I have a pretty funny story on the first grade. I think it was the first grade. Yeah, first grade. Where I locked myself into a bean bag. That was good times. That's a 1-1? One, one? How pathetic. Don't even have metal craft. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> Mrs. Pelton. Pollock Pines Elementary School. Now condemned. Looks like a ghost town. Everybody that knows all my like spooky stories and love of the macabre, you would just roll your eyes if you saw this place now. It was like, yep, that's where he went. <laughs> that was back in the day when teachers would just kind of let you be yourself, do your thing. There was a cool little wooden loft inside of our classroom, classroom and yeah, this is going to be a game now, darn it. I unzipped the uh, beanbag and went inside and Randy zipped me in and thinking it was a good idea. And I guess it was. We have a story now, right? Did I miss anything good, Super Pooper? Here we are. I don't know what to make of this. We have more viewers yesterday and today than we usually do on our like uh, Saturday shows, which is our regular show. I need some artifacts here. We're really kind of drawing dead here. We're going to be at eight next turn. If another Gary's behind this, we're pretty much dead. He's got an edict in the yard. Two, four, six, one more mana. You can flash it back. At this point, I'll probably lose the Sun Chaser. Given that if I don't, I'll have to use, lose Ginger Brute, and I would need two cards to make it right, meaning that I'd have to turn on Metalcraft. Yeah, so I'm going to lose Sun Chaser if he does that. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, man, look at this. Okay, we're off to what looks like game two. I'll, I'll look at a draw here, but I'm going to write the L already here. Bonk. Yeah, I can't believe Shiraz is up. This is nuts. You guys think you'll make it tomorrow night, little fight, Shiraz? I should just leave it to the winds, right? Okay, off to game three. Boop. Shameful. Usually 2-0, black, mono black. No problem. We're pretty flooded for this list. <laughs> Trying another land there, too. Like what we have here. We're gonna rock like this. Ha! Ah. You guys are awesome, super troopers. I tell you. Alrighty. This is good. We'll keep this. Got to play aggro here. I'm going to lead off with the recruit. I mean, I know uh, Defile could really s stultify our base here, but for right now, we're just going to play this, do this, and I hope that maybe he's playing a Baron more or doesn't have Defile. Or it takes 19 minutes. To, I mean, when you know I'm a chatterbox on, and I'm usually down like nine minutes against people, I've got 18 minutes. He's got 12 Maybe, who knows, maybe they're streaming multiple times. Hey, look at that. Who knows things? I said Baron Moore. There it is. Good times. Artifact land. I said artifact land. Ugh, here we go. Let a fight and nocturnal. Did you guys put this guy up to playing me? This is maddening. Ugh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm 
Brave and Popper. Good to hear from you. Alrighty. Well, we have uh, we have options. We have one, two artifacts. We'll attack for what looks like one, but it will soon be four. Hiya! Can't play it for free, but we can hit for four. That's a white fire blast, folks. <laughs> wow, when Nocturnal says he doesn't even play that slow. Sometimes Nocturnal and I have been across the board from each other, and he, he knows my disposition, and he'll just be like, hmm, well, I don't know. And he'll just take way too much time, and he knows it's just playing right into his hands. Drives me nuts. And I know what you're doing, but I just can't help it. Then Fog, yep. No attackies. <laughs> Aaron still talks about that deck. Serves you right, says <laughs> Toothmaker. Oh, I got all. All right. Let's tap this, and we'll, we'll draw of one mind. We'll go like this. I don't really care if he wants to take that down, right? Let's do this. I could journey to nowhere here, but I'm just going to try to get the jump on this. Hiya! Bam. 12 life. Or so at this stage, look, it's going to cost him a life to kill a husk. Right? But we don't really lose one card. We lose half of a card. We can just equip and make it more relevant later. Be very careful when this is activated. Stop. Then click. People have a tendency to go, what are they doing? And they click on their card, and then they end up hurting themselves twice. It's probably an edict right here. That's about the only way this makes sense. Yep. All right, we'll save our flyer. We still got four mana. Unfortunately, we need a creature to uh, activate Thought Cast, so that kind of sucks. Wow. What's the vote here, guys? I could equip Husk, drop Double Tooth, attack for six, one removal spell, and our day's done. That answers my own question. I'm, I'm going to actually tap it and uh, thought cast here. All right. I've got this. Sucks. I mean, you want to stay aggro, but I don't want. Also, don't want to be dead in the water here. I mean, chittering rats here is just a dead play. It usually is. Stop touching my face. Cool. Yep. I took his whole turn. Play this. Gotta take thought cast here, I would think. Oh, thank you. Bit of ways from Chandler Zedek becoming relevant again. Oh, man, that kind of blows, huh? Hmm. I'm going to keep my fuel going here. I'm going to actually use a thought cast here. I'm going to activate here. I'll activate here. Now, the glint hawk. Do I bring back flare husk? No, he could just witch it. I'll do this to this. And we'll turn this into a super star angel for six. And, uh, oh man, check this out. Let's go blue. We might not be done here. Tap this. Thought cast this. Sure, let's get some cannon fodder out there. Not a bad sequence. Thank you for that, Super Booba 33. <laughs> Just 
went over that word. Bam. Come on, draw another chittering rat. It's probably a Gary here. He'll he'll reset. I can just hear Gray Merchant of S Fodio with a mean grandma or mom just Gary You never cleaned your room. Sorry, Ma. It's eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's dead. Unless he's got snuff out, the scheme's over. I just hope that I wasn't offending you, Super Pooper 23. I'll just say it like that from now on. All right, well, this is good times. We'll do this. Try to keep these things even. All right. Put that deck in its place. Woo! All right, guys. We are going to run to WikiBear. We'll be back right after these commercial breaks. Thanks for joining us on Propaganda. I can answer any question you have. I'm WikiBear. <laughs> this is great. Okay, uh, here's a question, uh, WikiBear. Uh, what's the longest street in America? Checking now. <laughs> Got it. That title belongs to Colfax Avenue in Colorado, over 26 miles long, yay! No, that's great, that was yeah, really yeah. cool that he came up with that. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of long streets, Civil War General James Longstreet was partially responsible for over 10,000 Confederate casualties during the Battle of Antietam, the bloodiest single day battle in American history. What a bloodbath, I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of terrible fatalities in, in the Civil War. Imagine yeah. ditches filled with dead horses. Okay, okay. Let's, try an <laughs> let's, let's try another question. Uh, what's the fastest animal on land? The fastest land animal is the cheetah. It can reach speeds up to 75 miles per hour. See, that was great information really fast. Yeah, yeah. But it's still not fast enough to outrun Jack the Ripper. <laughs> The notorious 19th century British serial killer who murdered at least five prostitutes, lickety split. He was a terrible killer, Jack the Ripper, yeah. And he was never caught or punished. What a clever fellow, yay. <laughs> I don't know if yay is the right sentiment. Yay! No! Jack the Ripper got away, that's terrible. Well, there's... Some think he was a member of the royal family and some strings were pulled. Well, you know, you, uh... <laughs> sound like a beetle there. Yeah, the you're end. sort of starting to ad-lib there, Wiki Bear. <laughs> it's been part of my programming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm going to keep trying here. You'd think All I'd right. give up at this point. You but sure? Not... Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take the first American astronauts to reach the moon, Wiki Bear? It took just four days for Apollo 11 to reach the moon. That is exactly right. I knew that wow. one. That's much less time than it took the Donner Party to travel from Missouri to California. But unlike the Donner Party, those astronauts didn't resort to cannibalism. I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> Yeah, no one wants to hear about the Donner Party, okay? One member of the party went so mad from hunger, he ripped off his clothes and ran screaming into the woods. He was the first one eaten. Okay. <laughs> what a bizarre and easily preventable tragedy, yay! Let's try something kid-friendly. How many people visit Disneyland each year? Mickey Mouse greets almost 16 million visitors a year. Can't do anything with that, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a lot of people. Yes, but that's a drop in the bucket compared to the 200 million people who were killed by the bubonic plague. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Why are you bringing up the plague? I talked about Mickey Mouse. Well, the plague was spread by rats, Mickey Mouse's cousins. <laughs> but here's one question Wikipedia can't answer. What kind of God would allow that to happen? Okay, all right, all right. Hey everybody, thank you so much to the people listed here. Your continued support means the world to me as we move forward, always inventing, always doing new things. It's just nice to have so many of you aboard. If you'd like to donate, please do so at the link next, and we'll see you next time. All right, we're back. We have beaten Stompy, sort of. 
Uh, close loss to you are Delver or fairies, and we beat Mono Black Control. Very slow player indeed. All right, here we go. Game of Thrones, a propaganda show, is considered a dull affair if Chattering Rats isn't mocked at least once during the show. <laughs> well, I apologize, but yes, that's probably true. I, uh, I, uh, that's just how I roll. All right, here we go. And I usually put up, right? You saw the result there. Here we go. I don't think I've ever played this person. I really like this hand. This is a great hand. We'll keep this. Are you getting burnt on streaming it? I'm not, Super Pooper 23. Uh-oh. What sort of new devilry is this? Wow! I already like this guy. Embalm Brawler. It's so rare that I have to read a card. Okay, Amplify 1. What is Amplify? As this creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on it for each zombie you reveal. Guess he didn't reveal anything. And uh, whenever it attacks or blocks, you lose a life for each plus one counter on it. Did he reveal? No. Oh. Three zombies were revealed. Okay, cool. Check that out. A 5-5. Five, five. Whoa. Where's our journey to nowhere? How cool is this? I hope we lose. I really do. I like the innovation here. I've never seen this card before. I mean, I know I have, but I've never. That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, uh, you know, 5-5 five, is nice and all, except when it runs into a 1-2. <laughs> Four turns in a row. Well, all he has to do is drop a swamp, nix it, and we're at one third of our life total, but it'll still cost him his turn. Okay. They got very nice. Yeah, I've never seen that used in a zombie. Kudos to you, J1RG. Very nice. Very nice. As we drop to 15. I love seeing spice. This is awesome. Alrighty. Well, hmm. if we can just get five creatures up, can we live long enough to do that? That's the thing. Hmm. What I'm considering here is dropping Survivor's Encampment, playing Glint Hawk to return the clue, and playing the Survivor's Encampment off the Glint Hawk to return the Den, which will at least keep us a bit competitive. I'm trying to That's a very fast clock. Oh, nice, Shiraz. Hey, yeah, uh, you know what? Toothmaker was just chatting about, um, what was it, the um, the poll. Remember, we used to do polls online, so there was a software that did it that he sent me to another streamer site, and uh, I was like, well, Twitch does that already, but Okay, we knew that was there. A little bit of a sacrificial lamb there. I'm kind of pulling for this guy. <laughs> I like that kind of all in there. I was expecting it to be sort of a land destruction sort of mystique, but no. Where's a journey when you need it? We'll draw it. We're going to be in draw mode here. One, two, three... How much does this cost right now? Two? Well worth it. Let's do it. We've got a nice blocker. You guys thought I was out of it. Shame on you. This deck always has the answers. Check that out. At the page. I thought of trying that uh, Carth um, Carnophage with um, the deck we played yesterday. Uh oh, this is getting grim quick. Wow. No, it isn't. We've got a uh, harsh sustenance. Why wouldn't you attack there? That's so strange. Okay. <sighs> We're at such a low, low life total right now. It's very tempting to play the Sun Chaser for the human quality here and then uh, of one mind it. But 
I have enough respect already for this brewer that I'm just going to pay a, this in a black. And I'm just going to zap this and gain three life. Don't even know if we need to attack here. Block, block. It's going to pay a life 13. We're going to be even there. Two, three. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm mean, gonna act like a baby here, guys. I'm just trying to preserve my life total. All right, that's interesting. There it is again. What's it gonna reveal now? Nothing. Uh, a little bit of a misplay there. I don't know why this guy's not attacking. I'd be down two cards if he attacked there and, and really put me up against it, right? Well, I'll put out a, another pseudo blocker here. I'm not about to go aggro here. I'm just uh, after drawing cards here. Oop, okay, cool. And here we go. Hmm. We have enough cannon fodder. Uh, our opponent's hellbent. I th think I'm just going to kind of put on the gas here. We already have between the clues and the lands. We're okay, so um, I'll preserve this, actually. We'll do this. I'll come over for two. Chat got really quiet. Shh, don't say anything. I might get you. What's going on? Everybody go to sleep. Everybody leave. Stop touching your face. <laughs> Nocturnal 32. I'm eating a pickle. That has never been said in Twitch chat. I defy anyone to find it. Thus it has been written. Come eat ornithopter dust. Da Vinci style, baby. Ooh. Oh, little fight. If you, uh, actually, I think if you ever met your match in the kitchen, it would probably be uh, Nocturnal 32. He has studied with like the omelet king. Yes, that's a thing. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. All right. It's more crap. Hmm. Play this. Yeah, Letified's pretty talented, Nocturnal. Uh, we've got five in the air. What are we looking to return here, though? I'll just do it to do it. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. I'm so glad that we saw this Embalm Brawler tech. I never thought of using that in zombies. That's pretty sweet. Kind of an all-in strategy, but... I think if our opponent was a little more aggro, this would be like a one-turn game here. I mean, a one-swing game. Why did I attack with the Therban Inspector? Because I've had a little bit too much. Mayberry Ale. Homemade or craft dinner. <laughs> we'll say zombies. Definitely bring in the uh, prismatic strands here, except for the uh, shepherd of rot. We'll be all right. Had we not have the answer of harsh sustenance for the shepherd of rot, we would be dead by now. Let's keep that in mind and give our opponent credit there. Doesn't mean that we got the answers. Hmm. All right. Game two. Didn't feel like we were going to win that one, but we did. Strands comes in. Take one of these out. One of these out. 
I'll take this out. I tend to lose harsh sustenance against anything that isn't controlish. Journey is going to be good times. All right, let's see how we do here. <laughs> Gourmet ghetto. <laughs> You know, next or tomorrow night, I'll, I'll try to uh, remember to put up um, brindle boar soup, which is actually Nocturnal 32's recipe for broccoli soup that he taught me a while back. He used broccoli. I used trees. But... Oh, goodness. Ew, yuck. I keep this. Actually, going to get rid of the sun chaser here. Bit of a defensive stance. Got to draw right here. Well, that's a good start. Hopefully, he's more stultified than we are. Okay, we drew that. Drop into this as we get our. Little germ token online. Good times. Ooh. Sarcopa page. Yeah, we're going to leave that one go. Any hopes of this turning around, we're going to have to uh, of one mind into something relevant here. So we're definitely taking some damage here this next turn. Taking this. Okay. Hmm. First things first. Let's draw some cards. We have a human and a non human. Hmm. We'll cast this. Guess we'll attack. Good news with Flare Husk, we can block with it and still attain Metalcraft, even though our creature count will be diminished, as opposed to the Ornithopter play. So I'm writing a note, Brindle Boar Soup, for the first page tomorrow. Yeah. Plus, it'll be kind of stormy, so it'll be fitting. We got two artifacts. We need one more. We've got two in our hand. Ideally, we get like an ancient den here and we're just online, so. Okay, that's strange. Hmm. Not bad for one mana. You gotta keep that in mind. They have four, we have one. Catch you all later. Need to run a dinner. Good luck with the rest of the game, dogs off. Thank you, sir. I will need it. I think we got one more after this. We'll see. I keep waiting for the rain to hit the windows. I'm like getting a candy store, just giddy. Woo. 
Sir Ramsay's toothmaker Chatsuk. A name so long that magic doesn't allow it anymore. Magic online, I should say. Shirazaman, you are a trooper. I'm about to pass out myself. Thank you for joining me. As always, my friend, you are epically awesome. What is it, like almost 4 a.m. there again? Raining sideways in sack. Bergeron, dude, still in the house. Wow, thank you, my friend. Epic coolness. We will block here. All of you hanging out, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Not about me, it's just about the stuff off to the right there. All that chat going down, good times. Boy, just look at this real quick. We have one mana, our opponent has five. We're kind of winning. We're going to play blue and draw two more cards. Oh, come on, really? I can't draw anything into that. Good night, Shiraz. Oops, I was after the fact. Mini punt two. They're going to pay two life to get blocked. I think there's something there with those uh, Sarcopha page and however else you see them. This is another Gary. This might be the game. Okay, we're going to lose two. All right. But meaning that if there ever becomes an untapped mechanic in black, there might be something uh, pretty cool there where you can lead off with aggro, and if it doesn't happen, then you just... The phases. There you go. I miss so. We got to discuss... We got a Dessing and Beville. All right. I'm thankful this doesn't gain life. Jim Pombaluder just loses life. Cool. We got a game here outside of another Gary dropping. Wow. Not bad for one mana. Let's focus on that, folks. We have one mana. Cool. Realistically, I think we take out the sarcophage. Oops, excuse me. We will say white. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Boop. However, hey, Eckhart's in the house. All right, good to see you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. As we attack here, hiya. Tough call. I like to have him do the upkeep there, but rather just hit for four. We have two mana, which is all we need in this deck. We'll be all right. Might have been able to invest there in the uh, Ariok Sun Chaser, but depends what this turn implies. Two mana. Oh, no. Reth rethink. One mana. Ooh, double polluter. Okay, well, there's only one zombie out. It's not so bad. We got ginger root for the win. Keep in mind that doesn't gain them life. 
When you cycle gem pump polluter, you may have target player lose life equal to the number of zombies in the battlefield, which is one. That's draw my card, but we're not too worried about that. Tooth is so cool because it's so flexible. Every single turn, you can just be like, I'm going to put it over here. You going to block there? Okay, I'll put it over here. Eckhart, it has been a while, my friend. Good to see you. And what do we have here? What is this new devilry? Ouch. Well, that puts him at one. I mean, our ginger brute just wins here. It's a nice play, but... Mm -hmm. Whenever you think of ginger brute, I want you to remember this moment. Snuff out's really the only thing here. Or gut shot, and both of them kill him. Yeah, Tooth is just so flexible, and it's just over and over again. It's like, you want to block here? Oh, I'm going to go over here. You're going to block here? I'm going to go over here. So, all right. So we beat Zombies. So we have beat uh, Stompy. We had a really close loss to um, UR Fairies, beat Mono Black Control, and beat Zombies. We'll try one more, guys. I'll try to keep it honest here. Let's do this. Wipe this off. Yep, yep. Cool. Yeah, I really wish we didn't lose to a UR Fae, but, you know, when you can counter almost everything repetitively with Spell Stutter Sprite. Who needs land, says Super Pooper 23. That's exactly right. As we look over the deck list, we have 16 lands. All of them come into play normally. These turn everything into a bird of paradise. These draw two, draw two. Free spell, usually we can return it with this and make it hit for two, and that's every single turn. Then we got Ornithopter for the, uh... oops, here we go, sorry about that. Last game of the evening, guys. We're gonna roll to, um... excuse me here. Oh, the new Kaltheim trailer after this. So don't go anywhere. Well, this is frustrating because we don't have an artifact creature. We have a white creature and no artifact land. So we're going to mulligan this. This is fine because we have Ornithopter. We will keep this. Ornithopter is one of the best cards in this list. We're going to get rid of an inspector and say done. We'll drop a settlement. Drop this. Drop this. Play this. Boop, 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 boom. Good luck in the hunt for affiliate. I know I enjoy something in the cool popular modes. Thank you so much, Eckhart. Yeah, I, like I said yesterday, I feel like a complete jackass. Um, Toothmaker was like, hey, you know, you've been eligible for this forever. All you have to do is like stream X, Y, and Z days. And I was like, really? It's like, yeah. I, I was getting so used to uh, YouTube's little bell ring and then like, subscribe, and all these little things. I just thought it was kind of a, eh, just a, what do you call the uh, carrot before the pony sort of thing? Just thought they were kind of uh, egging me along, but in the end, all I got to do is stream today and tomorrow, and hopefully can make some funds. We'll see. One, two, gets me one, two. Let's do this to this. Next turn we smash with Metalcraft. We'll be all right. We've got to back up and have one mind. If you're ever going to cut one of the cards here, and I noticed a lot of people, versions 2 and 3 with um, Fall from Favor and such, they would lean on um, getting rid of, un of one mind and keeping like thought cast and such, and it was like, no, 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 no. Of one mind happens so much faster than thought cast normally.
Is this another swamp deck? Obviously it is, but it's a demir of this persuasion. Okay. Well, we'll do this. We're just going to attack for four here. It's a fire blast, ladies and gentlemen. Derail, just one run around the guy. You got this. Looking forward to subscribing. Thank you, sir. Hey, I was reading about the affiliate. Did you know that it said last 30 days? I did. Yeah, that kind of stuff makes me roll my eyes. It's just more hoops. We'll be okay, though, since we're so consistent. One, two, three. Let's do this to this to this. We'll do this. Oh, sorry about that. Boom, 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 boom. And we have one, two, three, four. That's cool. We'll be able to draw two more cards. You're keeping track, folks. We've drawn five cards this turn. Good times. No, we should be all right. Not a fight, but feel free to um, email me any other particulars. We've got options. Let's play this out. I should have played a land there. As we come in for two, with a germ and an inspector. Is the inspector inspecting for germs? Who knows? Can't believe our viewer count is still this high. This is awesome, guys. Thank you for joining me on Propaganda on this weird Wednesday night. I think the first we've ever done a Wednesday night. And tomorrow night will be no different, except for this frame. We'll say day three. And then we're taking Friday off. And then we come back Friday, I mean, excuse me, Saturday for our normal time, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you all there. Sharing the love, sharing the love of this format, which is awesome. Very good times. Some sort of control deck. The problem being that we already have enough stuff down that we can kind of, outside of a board wipe, we can really keep up with them. Hmm. I wonder what's most likely to get countered here. Let's lead off with this. I doubt this will get countered, especially since we have two more cards in our hand. Given that we have an Ornithopter and Unlimited Mana here, I'll pay two of these to draw the card. Okay. I guess we'll just attack for three. What other formats is everybody here into? I've only ever played Popper. I've won a few modern tournaments, but it's been a few years. I played Noxus Revival in a land destruction deck that was able to get back like Stone Rain and Molten Rain and... Um, oh, what's that? hasted dude that doubles as a uh, avalanche rider for two mana it's pretty pretty nasty you knock this revival back line destruction you usually get a lot of scoops i only tried it once got third in a uh, challenge it wasn't like a five round thing it was an all day sunday thing i just kind of hung it up on my my son took it up sapphire he's been modifying it since Like I said, my my biggest flaw as a creator or whatever you want to call it is I I make something and I'm just like, what's next? <laughs> I just go off to the off to the edges. 
The second something gets popular, that is the last time I'm going to play it. Nocturnal 13 says, I've been stuck playing Commander, and everyone seems to just want to play that. Not sure if I like it much. Okay, so this is when we really want to see our um, harsh sustenance show up. Right now it only hits for five. That'll improve. As we can get rid of the Stonehorn Dignitary, one of the banes of the format, usually with the Tron scenario. We'll get rid of it right now because our opponent's tapped out. Super Pooper 23, it's funny you say that. Singleton's one of my very favorite formats. And I know Commander's kind of based on that loosely, but... Let's see, we can't attack now. We'll do this. I'll just return the... Uh, return this. I think I'm going to just hold that in my hand. And just in case they have Evan Carr's Justice, I'm going to throw this on this and go like this. That way we're not just dead in the water if they pull that off. Still no rain here down in Southern California. Waiting to hear the pitter-patter on the window. Make me smile ear to ear, I tell you. There's a lot of fight in Nocturnal 30, 32, I'll tell you. <laughs> little fight, you'll never let me live that down, will you? I was just baffled why nobody thought of that. I was just like, uh, here's the flaw. Hmm. One's one regardless. So what I'm going to do here is um, put this on something that probably shouldn't matter. Cool. It's one either way. Now I have two creatures that can withstand the uh, Evan Card Justice Blast. Well, that was a little bit of a punt. Interesting, he still chose that, huh? Okay. Been doing Popper's Chaos games rather than Commander. No one in my group is into Commander. What is Popper Chaos? Derailed just one random guy. Curious. Hmm. Oh, well, that blows. I had the answer, but I didn't play the land, did I? Mana Leak, I will say, many times Little Fight stung me with that card where it's just like, God, why isn't it? Why isn't? Why aren't more people playing that? It's crazy. Boom. Yield through this turn. So at this stage, you look at this board state and you think like, well, I have cast down or I have this awesome removal spell. What do I use it against? It's like, really? A zero drop or a one drop? And it's like, yep, yeah, at this stage, you might need to. I want to see anti return personally. What are we up against here? This is a uh, white blue. Okay. Mold drifter showing up, probably an ephemerate behind it. At least he's flagging that. That might be a good little sideshow there, a little fight. 
Ooh, I haven't been happier for this to go down. Hmm. A lot of echoing tricks here. I'm thinking of decay and truth echoing here. This this negates the decay, so this is the truth. So I will put this on here. Attempt to uh, play a little bit of defense in case they have some sort of a rat lock. I'm just going to play that land. Yeah, Super Pooper 23. I don't know. It's some sort of um, obviously like a White, blue, white, excuse me, <laughs> black, blue, white control list. See how formidable Ornithopter is? Even if you can deal with it, it's, it still costs you a card. So this is when you just love Flare Husk, this mid-game state where it's like everything gets improved with Flare Husk. They have to invest currency in the magic realm to get rid of things. Don't like this. Let's see what new devilry shows up. Ephemerate, of course. All right. Are your worst matchups with Brute Squad? Um, oh, I'd have to look at my notes there, buddy. Send me an email at propaganda at gmail.com and I'll, I'll send those to you. Yep, this is going here. Like I said, you are Delver or you are Fairy is a, kind of a wash. Depends who draws better, but uh, I guess we'll say this play this. Here we go. It definitely has some. I mean, there's uh, walls is a big issue. If you don't try enough Journey to Nowhere's or the um, what do you call uh, Heart Sustenance, walls can end your day pretty quick. But you'll you'll have five games in a row where you just run over them through the air, and you're just like, God, what a joke. <laughs> oh no. Fallonator. Road to Affiliate. 
that's kind of the idea. Yep. We're grinding out here. I'm super sleepy. Apologies for the low energy here in the last few minutes, but hopefully we can send Patty packing. We beat Stompy, lost to close one to UR Fay, beat Mono Black Control and Zombies. So hopefully we can keep our 4 1 ways, which is what we've been doing lately. Oh boy, we need our macabre, don't we? You'll wonder what I'm writing off to the side. These are my notes. I kind of. I write like win loss ratios and then I take notes like as far as how I'm going to sideboard later. Alrighty. Fem rate showing up. We have no uh, response here, so I'm just going to yell through the turn to save on time since I'm such a chatterbox. Woo! I cannot believe Shirazamon has hung out with us that long. I hope he's snoozing nice, nicely now. So one of the best things about Brute Squad here is that, like, Seeker of the Way normally will let your opponent get back in the race because they can gain, like, 8, 9, 10 life or whatever. You block with Ginger Brute, you sacrifice it before life loss, you gain 3, they don't gain anything, and you're still able to put the screws to them. So it's good times. But before I even do that, I want to make sure that this one's going to go through. So I want to play this and see if he's going to counter it. Okay. It's not. That's fine. Make this only blocked by haste. He has a blocker there. Hmm. I want to be able to pay two for that. So let's uh, let's do this. I'll attack here. nothing but the draw might this is when ginger brute really shines there's a lot of scenarios where both on offense and defense so you can see we can't really get through this blockade here he's got a wall he's got a flyer and what do we do? And he has a life gainer. Well, we have a brute squad that can block, sack, gain three life, and then we can pile up the flare husks on the brute, ginger brute, and uh, go from there. So that's the theory, anyway. Yeah, I'm reading backwards there. Derailed just one random guy. I would love to see an anti-set. Just like kind of the, um, what was that? The uh, I always want to say the Jackass expansion, but the Unglued, I think that was it. Because it had a horseshoe and it always reminds me of a donkey. Like I said, contract from below, paid my rent for about two months. People in our little town just didn't understand that card. Until it was too late. <laughs> Come on, opponent. I'm trying to put on a show here. I'm sleepy too, but this will be the last show. I mean, not last show. We're going to be here tomorrow night, same time, same place. But uh, we're going to be rolling to the new Kaldheim trailer after this. As with a uh, very old school, I think 1997 Magic the Gathering uh, Goblin commercial. 
unhinged. That's it. Thank you, sir. Not quite sure what our opponent's doing here. Are they still there? Let's see what's going on here. All right. That was quite a while ago. Some of the unhinged cards really crack me up. Yeah, I like Moniker Mage the most. You know, somebody's middle name, the creature's unblockable if memory serves. I know Toothmaker killed me with that one. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity versus Magic Online. <laughs> so unless I can get rid of Gingerbread here, we're in good company. Ooh. That's the other thing about Ginger Brute. You can block with it, sack it, gain some life. Good times. I forget about Cheaty Face. Can you bring up the uh, text for that? I don't know if the AI has that in its database, but I remember it being pretty powerful, though. Uh, if he targets this Ginger Brute, I'm going to be in trouble here. Not so much that I'm going to take damage, but I'm going to, he's going to be able to uh, come on, target the Glint Hawk. <laughs> What's he target? Oh, cool. All right, no problem. For a blue, blue, blue creature, 2-2 two, two, a freak. Cheaty faces in your hand, you may sneak Cheaty face onto the battlefield. If an opponent catches you right away, that player may exile Cheaty face flying. Wow, nice! Thank you, little fight. Appreciate that, my friend. Opponent punted a little bit there. I think they meant the other one. Oh, maybe they didn't. We'll see. Well, let's see. He's going to gain four life here. Defiance, do I just... Um, so I think I, re I let this gate return. No, what was I thinking? I have to discard. Duh, I should have gained three life. That was a punt. Third punt of the night, sorry. They're adding up. I'm getting sleepy. I've had a few too many. Good times. this point we're going to do this and pick on the card he's stealing a water drop out of the blue mana symbol very cool I think I remember that I went to the uh, pre-release for that I just remember moniker mage just being everywhere five yikes Anything to delay the turn here? Hmm. this shoot bring this on here and we will yield
Hey, I watch a lot of your videos on YouTube. I own a version inspired of your UR. In fact, in paper. Very nice, Roy Hayes. Haynes, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it vastly, my friend. Yeah, we had a white infect show about three weeks back. Went pretty good. I think we went 4-1. Oh, we're getting picked apart here. Good news is we're up about seven minutes on time. And it's a pretty strong one. Mm, it's getting grim quick. Seekers keep in a minute. Clock's our friend here. If we can survive. Like I said, we'll be here same time, same place tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anybody wishes to join us at this stage... It serves to block here. All right. Attempt to push for affiliate. Yikes. Could have drawn worse. This at least gets us two. Ew, I don't know about this. This is going to be the biggest germ you've ever seen. This is like COVID central right here. Check this out. Pop, pop, pop. Poop, poop. <laughs> I am COVID. Hear me roar. Let's think of it for a five. The double tooth play here. Taken too long, but so is our opponent. All right, seven minutes. Oh, Popper Tim, it's funny you say that. I'm thinking of playing that either tomorrow or on Saturday's show. The old white nickel. I just love that deck. Just thought it was a master stroke. It does look grim, but he's taking lots of time to do it. Yeah, thanks to your YouTube vids, Deluxe. I'm new to MTG, and your vids have taught me a lot about popper. Oh, thank you, Super Pooper 23. Awesome. Hopefully, it taught you not to play white bordered cards. <laughs> I hope to have the new. Um, Pupper horse race that we've all been talking about for the last two days um, by Saturday's show, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It might be next Saturday's show at the latest. You know, we've got 11 horses, a lot of little play on words and good, good times, but at this point, I've been awake so long, it's just craziness. I shouldn't talk. I mean, Shirazma and the Little Fighter are going crazy here, right? What is your opinion on the ban list? Uh, was there an update today? I think they either need to reset everything and let it be the Wild West or they need to get rid of uh, Urzatron and the Flicker combo. I don't think it'd be enough to just get rid of one. That's pretty much it, Super Pooper. <laughs> I'm just going to yield here. Oh, Stardust King 99. Hey, I've been trying to watch it a lot on YouTube. Finally caught it live on Twitch. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's kind of rare that, it's super rare that we're on a Wednesday night. It's going to be even rarer tomorrow night on a Thursday night. 
doing a little bit of a attempted affiliate push. Getting all kinds of notifications from Twitch saying, hey, you only need to do this one other thing. And I was like, all right, all right, I'll do it after five years. Okay, we'll concede here. Boop. They got us. What do we got? Is that the match or is that? Okay, that's game one. Our opponent has five minutes to win again. So we're going to bring in Harsh Sustenance. Yeah. I am going to count this as a win, ladies and gentlemen. They have five minutes. They took 20 to win that one. What I would do here is bring in Harsh Sustenance, all the macabres. Probably lose a few journeys because they have access to a Denrova Horror. And uh, let's see. Uh, that'd be about it. I'd probably be bring in a Dispel and such. But So technically, we went 4-1. I'm going to call that a... So we beat Stompy. Uh, we lost to UR Fairies. We beat Mono Black Control. We beat Zombies. And we technically beat a sort of Pseudotron esque list but um yeah this this list is very 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 nasty it has game against everything in the format as we saw cannonade can be an issue how do we deal with that well we have dispel we have hydroblast and we have hollow uh this is so epic when you drop it against like an evan car's justice or a rolling thunder or that sort of persuasion you can really reap the benefits there our sustenance is just um dividends against fog mechanics and such and we have all kinds of other things. So anyway, guys, um, we're going to roll to a uh, spoof commercial here. Ex excuse me. No, it's going to be a Kaltheim commercial that just premiered today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow night. If you have any suggestions, please send them to propaganda at gmail.com. Um, I just want it to be something I like to play. Please don't send me like a super slow control list or that sort of thing. But um, And thank you, Super Pooper, for... Uh, thanking me for streaming because thank you for watching everybody i mean it's like really late and especially the little fight and shiraz and people all over the country i know you've got a lot of better things to do thank you for hanging out with this old bald guy and bald idiot whatever you want to call me it's good times um maybe i'll lean on infect i don't know um i think saturday's show i might even play burn for like the second time ever little fights eyes, eyes just lit up he's like oh what what but i'm just trying to kind of uh hasten this week along so that I, I'm, I'm trying to prevent myself from getting like burned out, but I'm not so far. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Propaganda. Yep. In fact, Super Popper, uh, that's all I need to hear. Good times. Come on! Yeah. We're still high. Magic the Gathering, I'm returning your stupid goblin card. He's weak. Can't you make him less of a weenie? Sign Jason Black. Magic the Gathering, the trading card game. Well, Jason, what do you think? Thank you.